What's going on, my friends? Chris here. I want to bring you all an update of Bitcoin. We're also going to get into a few altcoins as well. What we're going to be focusing on here is just the one day time frame for each one of these coins that we're going to be looking at here. And main thing, guys, whenever we're looking at other coins, we got to look at Bitcoin and we have to pay attention to it first. OK, so even if you're an altcoin trader, you have to pay attention to Bitcoin. It's going to be the most important thing for you. And right now, Bitcoin sitting at twenty one thousand four hundred ten dollars. We're up about one point three nine percent. And what we were looking at in the last video, guys, we we're talking about the structure and how the structure had to hold. If you turn on our pivot points here, we were keeping an eye on these higher lows that need to come in, continue to come in here. And the last one we were looking at was around $22,704. So that ended up breaking. We got a big break to the downside, and that came on heavy volume as well. And one thing I'm going to just talk to you guys about here because it's really helped me in my trading and something I want to teach you are those wicks and why we were putting a lot of emphasis on the wicks in the last video. You can see up here a lot of profit taking. We we're also having higher highs, but they were lacking follow through. There wasn't a lot of strength. We weren't getting much higher on our higher highs. It was just that lack of volume, that lack of enthusiasm to get even higher. So to me, that was an indicator that we had to continue to be cautious and we need to be even more cautious now. Because what you can see here guys we had this break of our higher lows it came on heavy volume and what we're having now is a little weak reaction bounce what i was expect if we are to continue to bounce would go up and back test this trend line here or at least these moving averages before we potentially get another leg down and what we would look at then is trying to hold support at around eighteen thousand five hundred dollars then it'd be down to that seventeen thousand five hundred and sixty four dollars so one thing that's really helped me putting it on my chart so I don't have to look as indicator, I'm putting this on for when I'm doing a little bit more swing trading, quicker trading, maybe on the one hour time frame or so. I've been using the MACD settings. So I'm using the 12 and the 26 EMAs. And using these 12 and 26 EMAs, whenever they cross to the upside, what I do for myself is I can only take long positions. So I'm not gonna try to short when these moving averages are moving up. Okay, so we can really take a look at this here, guys, just show you how powerful this can be here. Okay, and here I'm never buying once we've had this cross to the downside. So you can see how the 12 crossed through the 26 on the daily and look how long we were pressed underneath that until we finally had a cross again. So this entire time, if you just follow this and say, I'm not going to take a long position because the trend clearly is still down and we're trading below these moving averages, it can save you a lot of money as opposed to just guessing and trying to pick the bottom even in this range here when we had climax volume, we still had another leg to the downside. So these can help keep you honest. And then once we cross to the upside here, that could be a sign, say you're in a short position to take your profits or to cover. And then longs here, most likely we're going long once we got that cross and we stayed up above it for a while but now we've crossed back to the downside so that's something that we have to pay attention to we got this downside cross on heavier volume and guys whenever we're looking at this here another main thing that i, I always use and that can help me just really identify the trend is using this 200 day moving average this 200 day moving average if you really want to be conservative and you're looking at more of a long-term approach only trade to the upside or buy when we're trading up above the 200 moving average and it's moving to the upside, you're getting that slope to the upside. So you're not gonna have that many entries or exits, but also once you drop below that 200 day moving average, that's when you would sell out. So you can see here for Bitcoin, once we drop below it, we have now went 54% below the 200 day moving average. That's how important it is. You can see we even had this back test here. And since then we haven't tested it again. But institutional investors really pay attention to that 50 and that 200 day moving average. So those are things that can just kind of keep you out of trouble. So say you want to trade to the upside, just make sure we've had this cross guys This 12 and 26 right here on heavier volume, then you can try to trade this until we get that downside cross. And that's a trading strategy in itself just right there. But I use it to help keep me out of trouble. So I'm looking at this, we've had a downside cross and I'm saying to myself, why would I want to try to go long? in this area right now, when most likely we could just have a little bounce here and we can go to lower levels. You always have to have that risk management. Unless you're long-term investing, guys, that's a completely different thing. But I'm talking to you about swing trading and position trading right now. So for me right now, guys, we have to be more cautious. We're gonna look to see if we can hold that $20,700. If we do get a bounce, I'd look up to as high as about $23,000 before we potentially roll over again. So you just have to be careful and then really watch that eighteen five, dollars then that $17,500 as well. That's gonna be important for us. Okay, so now for Bitcoin, that's on the one day time frame. I just also wanted to get into the one hour time frame. So on the one hour, we're trying to get some type of bottom going here. We had a little bit of a double bottom. 
we are starting to get that 12 crossing over the 26 but for me still hasn't potentially been enough volume you know if you were to take this as just to give you an example here so say you did want to get in on this and you say okay I'm, i really want to get into bitcoin now we've had a cross on the one hour time frame i want to jump in here so say you jump in here main thing that you need to do is put your stop loss underneath this area right here because if this trade's gonna work out and you're gonna get this follow through, so we had our low, high the bounce, higher low, higher high, this should be your higher low. And if this is not your higher low, this little hammer candle here, and we start to roll over, you would wanna be out of the trade. Does that make sense? And then we would be targeting up above 21,589, maybe even up to around that 29,000, or excuse me, $21,914. So those would be more of the upside targets if you were to take a trade like this. For me right now, guys, I'm not interested in that because I'm position trading Bitcoin. I'm waiting for a great opportunity. So when I do take a position, it's going to be for a little bit longer term of a swing trade to a position trade. <clears throat> so that's going to be Bitcoin, guys. That's the main thing is just really using those stop losses if you are going to take trades like that. Okay, just always have it going in your favor. Have that 12, that 26 moving to the upside here. You're trading up above it. If you want to do something like that, just really make sure you use your stop loss. And sometimes this can really help you. So that's going to be Bitcoin on the one hour time frame. We're going to bounce out to the one day. Let's take a look at Ethereum. So Ethereum, same deal. We are now trading below our 12 and 26 moving average. We had heavy volume to the downside here, so most likely I would just anticipate a lower high that potentially could be back up to around, we call it about $1,700. Could be an area, and then it'd be up to around that $1,800 as well. Could be a spot if we do get that lower high. We'd like to hold about $1,530 is gonna be the area. Relative strengths can be at 44 right now. VWAP's at negative 15.97. So that's going to be ETH. That structure has been broken, guys. And most likely with the fall that we've had, we would anticipate a lower high would be most likely. For ADA, main area support we want to hold is going to be about $0.40. Cents. It's going to be a big area for us. Same deal. Had this big sell-off coming on heavier volume. If we do get a bounce, I would look up to around $0.50. Cents. Potentially could be overhead resistance. If we get higher than that, it'd be up to around these wicks were, guys. And that would be up to about that $0.56, $0.57. Cents right in that area but we need to find support first and i wouldn't want to drop much below that 40 cents and you can see we have got that cross to the downside of the 12 and the 26 moving averages there so just be careful with this trading below our 200 day moving average as well if we get into litecoin sitting at 54 dollars 93 cents right now same deal we've had this cross of the 12 and the 26 we look to hold support at about 53 dollars if we don't hold support there we look down to around 47 dollars could potentially be an area and then below that look down around this area of about forty dollars has been a big area for litecoin to hold in terms of overhead resistance it'd be about sixty dollars for me here but we have now fallen enough to where most likely scenario we would come up here lower high and then we'd have to try to potentially set a higher low and then just try to dig our way out of here if we could that's would be the positive side guys negative side here for litecoin give you an example be some along the lines of this so we get a weak little bounce and then we just roll over and test lower levels like that 44 50 somewhere right in that range so these are just some of the things i'm looking at guys just really watch your risk management keep it tight you don't have to pick the bottom right now really go with that trend that's going to be the main thing for you be safe out there don't forget to like subscribe hit that notification bell god bless y'all